Today marks four years since Stefan Clark was shot and killed by Sacramento police. He was shot in his grandparents' backyard back in 2018 after a pursuit through multiple backyards in the Meadowview area. His death touched off weeks of protests and years of demands for greater accountability and police use of force. And his family continues to pursue what they call justice. This first year has been building Stefan's. Right now, we're remodeling Stefan's house. Mama Clark is doing amazing things right now. My grandmother is, is stepping into her most. She's doing amazing things as well. And my entire family is doing things. So you'll see something different on each side of our family in the near future, but the fight for justice continues. Well, on this fourth year after Stefan Clark's death, this Friday began with a full day of events at the state capitol. KCRE3's Maricela De La Cruz is there and tells us what that looked like today. Yeah, well, dozens of people gathered at the state capitol today in honor and remembering Stephon Clark four years after he was shot and killed. And several of the families who were also here uh, also pushing for police reform and accountability in honor of their loved ones. We have children who suffer, families, parents who suffer. Four years after he was shot and killed by two Sacramento police officers. What's his name? No justice? Stephon Clark's legacy lives on. An eventful day at the Capitol brought forth dozens of people to highlight the work that still needs to be done. It is our goal with the I Am Sac Foundation to number one, bridge the gap between underserved, underrepresented communities and law enforcement agencies. Stephon's mother says she's seen a change within city leaders and the police department. Recently sworn in police chief Kathy Lester says they're committed to holding their own accountable. Transparency and accountability, it's actually one of the things I want to work on. And says they've started their commitment online. I'm really proud of the work that we were able to do by building our transparency website. And that seems, I guess, like, oh, it's just a website, but really it's more of an idea and a philosophy that what we do should be pushed out into the public for the public to review and for the public to see. And Stephon Clark's mom also says that she hopes that the Stephon Clark law is implemented within law enforcement agencies here in the Sacramento area. Live in Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.